Howdy y'all, this is Reckless Raven, and welcome back to Cozy Grove. Last time, we um, learned more about Patrice's past, and we learned about um, all the guilt that's weighing down on him because of his past, and how much that exactly weighs on him, and how he feels about all the situations that had happened back then and uh, kind of figured out how that leads into his depression. So that's just a thing that he has to deal with, I guess, and um, has to get through so that he can continue, I think. Um, so today we are going, trying to go in order of who we had met and I lost track of who we had done. I remember doing Allison, and that's the end of it, so I think we're almost there. And we'll all start over again. I think next time I'll do one of my usual <laughs> ways of doing things. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and start with Bala, and then we'll see who else needs help from there. All right, buddy. My camera is calling to me again. You know what that means. Another one of my photos is out there, waiting to be found. Taking and collecting pictures was clearly more than just a hobby to me. Okay. A folding chair. Grass piles. Got it. It's not a grass pile, but I'll take it. We're still trying to get all of those pieces for um, for Jeremy for his uh, cuckoo clock. So hopefully we'll get that soon. there. Grass pile. Okay. back on over here. I found your picture. Well, no. This was unexpected. What a beautiful farm. Like something out of a painting. I wonder if I plan to retire there. It must not have worked out somehow. I don't remember this place. It looks sort of like the Dennings family farm. Yeah, it looks like the Dennings family farm. Lee's. Dennings. Dennings. Ah, oh, yes, they had some trouble with the crops, if I recall. What happened to their son, Lee? Maybe he sold the place and moved on. Ah, oh, don't listen to this old bear. I'll just confuse you along with myself. You run along now, eh? Don't worry about me. Alright. So we got the Lee photo and a spirit log. Nice. And a restart of the music. Alright. Let's go ahead and collect up all these that we can. And... Go on ahead. And we'll help... I think we'll help Lee next, actually. A log for you. More. Only 15 more logs before I'm full. I sent at least five logs out there. Maybe close. Maybe far. Alright then. Goodness. Go ahead and put those in storage. This in storage. I think I'm full up on those. Yes. But not on those. 
this one, this one, and this one. Alright. Yes. Where are you at, buddy? There we go. Can I help you with something today? Isn't easy keeping up with all the animals on a farm. Give me some animal food, please. Fruit jam, any forageable food. Nice. Okay. Fruit jam. Um, any forageable. Thirty. And all of those. Okay. I should head to spot for my little fur babies. Thanks. Cool, that one was easy. I want some flowers. Some shells. Don't come calling a favor, okay? It's a trade. Just a trade. I can do that. Any shells times five. Got it. We are winning her over, though. where the shore is like eat up in shells and there's days where we struggle to find any. There we go. Or I'm traveling too fast. One of those. Oh, that was it though. Make us even. why I skipped him over. Because I think he came in between them? I don't remember though. Like, I just remember he was one of the more recent. Right. I do know that Tram was next and then um, Ursula. So Tram. I can't live with these ancient symbols in my house anymore. They sing at night. I'm sure of it. Please, take them and destroy them. You'll need imp droppings to break them down properly. When you do it, let me know. Okay. Ten ancient symbols. Symbol dust crafting recipe. So, learn. Okay. Let's go ahead and craft that then. Oh, 
Why did it call it imp droppings and not imp essence? Hmm. Alright. I need to craft some things, bud. Piece of hardwood for that quest. And I need to craft this symbol dust. Here's the materials. Crafted. Nice. Alrighty. And then come put this into storage. Sort through that. And then let's go on ahead and turn these into tram. I wonder why everyone calls him Tram instead of by going by his first name. Mm -hmm. So you did it. They all rendered to dust. You're sure? Sure as can be. But can't you sense when they're... Okay. Sure as can be. Mm -hmm. I could tell those things were messing with my brain. Mm -hmm. Maybe be a morphic... Resonance? Or could they secrete toxic gas? All I know is I couldn't trust my own thoughts with those things around. Maybe I'll sleep easier now. Hang on to this stuff for me. It's inert for now, and it might shed light on future mysteries. Okay. I'll hold on to it. Yeah. Totally. Ursula. <laughs> Help me be sane. The ground was shaking all night. I'll be honest, I was a little worried about what was growing for Patrice. But it was something quite modest after all. A flat letter in a red envelope. Aww. <laughs> the snail, I like that, that's cute. When time comes, give this to Patrice, would you? And thank him for his service, too. Aww. Oh, those are for him? Okay. Well then, that went a bit faster than I thought it would, honestly. Hmm. Okay. Uh, here's that log for you. Yum. Only 14 more logs before I'm full. I said someone has a log they're eager to give you if you can help them. Uh, put things away. We have a space for these. And then... Put that away. Okay. Um... Before I forget... Let's buy this one for today. This one. Because we always need more. We need more of those right now. We have enough of those. I have one, and I have one. It's a walnut tree, garden. Uh, I have one of those. Uh, sell. Yes, this, 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 this. Okay, sounds great. There you go. Nice. Okay. Okay. It's another log for you. Only 13 more logs before I'm full. I sent at least three logs out there. Maybe close. Maybe far. Okay, let's put this one and this one in storage. That's a potted tulip. So that goes over by... Okay, yeah. 
those will go over by Francesca. Um, see if we have something new from Charlotte today. Can I help you with something? Look at that. You have almost as many badges as I did when I was, when my scouting career ended. But I'm sure you'll hit the same dead end as me. There's no way to get more than 55 badges from these ghosts. I'm sure of it. 55 badges? With all my volunteering, all my community service, I never earned that many. How did you manage it without releasing a single ghost? Um, what do you mean, releasing? Didn't you read the fine print in the handbook, Skip? Once you solve a ghost's problems for good, they are freed from their prison and can leave the island. Now, at first, as you know, ghosts just want to talk. They have lots to say, but, few, but give few hints about how to fix them. It was frustrating for me. My progress earning baggages was way too slow. So what did you do? Well, I noticed spirits are awfully suggestible. Really bends around them as their memories fade in and out. Oh, reality. Reality bends around them as their memories fade in and out. I realized that those memories were holding the spirits back. What if, instead of rehashing those memories, I just gave them happier endings? The mayor? She didn't need to be reminded how far Cozy Grove had fallen under her watch. Instead, I made up a story. I told her she saved her town from financial ruin and made it absolutely perfect. Poof! She was saved, and I earned my first free spirit badge. Lee Dennings? I swept his junk-filled farm under the rug, and poof! Those ghosts got their happy endings, and I got my closure. My free spirit badge went up in rank. It didn't work on everyone, of course. I remember Octavia using some very strong language when I suggested I could find a miracle cure for her legs. <laughs> but for the most part, the ghosts were vanishing from the island. Their business was finished. I really noticed that life here on our island was fading around me as well. That was a rather long sip, wasn't it, Scout? Sorry if I got carried away still in storytelling. I've been lost in old thoughts lately. Just give me a little while to collect myself. Hmm. So instead of figuring it out, she made endings for them that made them happy. So... No. Delicious. 12 more lives before I'm full. So the longer they're eager to give you can help them. Okay. So she... She didn't really earn those badges. Or the, that badge then. She... She told them what they wanted to hear. But didn't really help them, it looks like. That sounds to me like the easy way out, honestly. But that's... Actually, it wasn't a way out, though. She's still here. She's stuck. So... That's interesting. It has like a... The Spirit Scouts, there's a way to make sure that they actually do what they're supposed to and don't try to take the easy way out. That's actually very interesting. It sounds to me like she tried to take the easy way out and it sort of backfired really hard on her because now she's stuck as a spirit. So she made them believe that their problems weren't as bad as they actually were and they actually need to try to figure out they need to reconcile themselves. They don't need the happy ending. They need to see what's wrong and accept it for as it is. That's that's the point. They're they don't need the sugar-coated ending. They need 
to see the truth and accept it, in my opinion. So maybe that's part of what we need to understand, that giving them a happy ending isn't going to work. That's... that is deep. And depressing. <laughs> All at the same time. Okay then. <laughs> Thanks, Charlotte. Um, on that note, let's, let's go see if Patrice has anything good for us. Can I help you with something today, buddy? Yeah. Chasing around mail every day, trying to find missing packages. Mm -hmm. It wears on you, believe me. Mm -hmm. Maybe this is that burnout thing I've been hearing about. Mm -hmm. Guess folks won't be getting their deliveries for a while. Aww. Let's help you out. Bro behind something. A water tower behind something. Some hanging fish behind something. Okay. So, first things first. Burrow. To me, there's one over here. No? Okay. I think there's one over here as well. Okay. I think that's a legendary shell. That's worth a good chunk. a shot. Okay. Um. Said some hanging fish. But yeah. Did Charlotte. And obviously Octavia is too grounded. She's too um, in the moment to Accept the quote unquote mystery cure thing that um, Charlotte was trying to get her to believe. Like some of these people, they want um, to understand and to move on, but some of them, they they don't see it that way. Let's keep going and keep um, finding these packages for Patrice. Mm, look near a sculpture made of sand. Sand piles. I didn't even notice it over here. Okay. behind something. Is that going to be by Bala or by... Jeremy. Okay. No. Let's gather this real quick. Well, that is a folding chair. Is that it? Yep. Oh, no. That was- that was one that I hadn't even had the clue for yet. Okay. Nice. Good. Okay. So, not over here. Got it. Look by your folding chairs real quick. I think you have a burrow over here somewhere as well, so that'll be helpful. <sighs> All right. Oh goodness. Now I'm curious to see which next direction her story is gonna turn because that was a doozy. No wonder we're stuck here. Okay. 
All right, Bala. Some hanging fish. So to me, that's over by tram. Yes. There we go. Burrow. There's always a burrow in the edges. Equipment shed. Equipment shed? Of course, there are tiny little letters. So I don't think you have an equipment shed. Behind something? equipment shed I can think of. Oh wait. What if um does Ursula have an equipment shed? She's a gardener, that would make sense, right? No. Hmm. It would make sense that you had one. house. You won't have equipment. Um, is this supposed to be some kind of equipment shed? Treasure hunting with your stuff is hard. <laughs> okay, let's go and turn this in then. You gathered all of it? All of the mail? This goes above and beyond the call of duty. Here, take this. I insist. Okay. I mean, I won't say no. Egg. The um. Ooh, some soft. Okay. Um. Roasted fruit. And then. Toasted nut flour. Roasted fruit. fruit. Okay. Let's go and put stuff in storage. That one. That one. That. These. This one. Swords. Okay, so this. This. Everybody coming through. Okay. 
harvest. Walnut trees don't have stuff for me. Hmm. Okay, done. Alrighty. Um, let's, see. let's go on ahead and finish off with helping Francesca. Can I help you with something? I used to be content in these woods, but ever since you brought me those statues, Questions have been sprouting in my head. There's one in particular that any self-respecting ghost should be able to answer. How did I die? Strange, isn't it? That I don't know? Perhaps my loved tree friends can help. I believe you call them books. I called them books, too, before I became part of the forest. Could the answers I seek be written on their leaves? Uh, I mean, on their pages? Aww. Pile of shopping bags and packages. Pile of skulls. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. There's one book. Equipment shed. Um, I'm forgetting which equipment shed I'm looking for. Dang it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put this back away, that back away, these back away, sorts. Writing a book. It's probably over here then. Have you seen a book? Hiding a book? No? Okay. More than likely it is over here by Lee then. And I'm just not seeing it yet. Lee, do you has? Where are you hiding? Oh, 
find something. Okay. There we go. I have... Ah, you've located three fine companions for me. My wonderful friends. The books. I feel such a kinship with them. We are both transformed from our base materials into new shapes. Works of art. I don't know if my story is written in these pages. But I'll keep reading. Just in case. Aww. So we'll learn more as time goes on. As she reads through them. Alright. And she gives us a Granny Smith tree. I think that we have two of those down already. Neither of these two want anything. None of the trees over here are ready for harvest. Darn. <laughs> Um, let's put one right here, I think. The black one. Okay. Black dahlias. There is one there, so let's see. Let's place one here. Two, three, yes, okay. And then chartreuse tulips. Okay, so are both of those, yes, both of those are new. So we're gonna go donate those to the collection. Okay. For the Dahlia. And the Chartreuse Tulip. Nice. A little bit of money goes a long way. Pick up this real quick while we're here. before I'm full. I sent someone as a log their year to give you if you can help them. And then we'll put... All of these are for sale. Okay. Uh, check. Yeah, we have two of those placed. Learn the ancient lantern crafting recipe. Sort one of those 541. We are nine hardwood away. A hardwood is taking so long to gather. Okay. Go ahead and sell all of these. Oops. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. There we go. Okay. Um and I believe that is all that we can do for today. Um, I know that we can still talk to a few of our villagers, but that is all the time that I have for today. Um, I think I actually went over time going and speaking with Francesca, but I got a little excited hoping to see more of her stories her storyline so um it was very interesting to learn about everyone's things um ursula having more for patrice um we have two of those letters for him so 
when we get there, we can use this. This apparently is um, important to someone. Um, these are a military commendation. So those are for Patrice, so hopefully those are not too too bad. These imp pamphlets, pamphlets, uh, a guide to the native imp population, those might be for Clyde. And we have Valentina's photo, Lee's photo, and Octavia's photos. So we'll have to see who some of these things are for in the future. Um, do please leave a comment down below, let me know what y'all think of all the stories that we are seeing here, and um, your just your thoughts and takes on what we are learning and seeing here. And leave a like, just like always, to help with the feeding of all these animals because they are there are quite a bit. There, There is quite a bit of the animals wandering around in my space. And subscribe to join me on learning even more about these guys' stories and joining me on all the other stories that we hope to go on in the future. And I will see y'all in the next one. Thank y'all. Bye-bye.